In this session we're going to talk about the notifications and the changes that we made from version 6 to version 7. And as usual you find the notifications by pressing the notifications uh, button here in the server tab. So for you who don't know, uh, notifications are global objects that can be assigned to jobs and tasks. And the, and the most popular notification is the email notification. And from version 7 we have updated this and we're now calling them task notifications and the reason for that is that uh, we are now inheriting from the original task that we have. And the reason for these changes uh, was that we, we can now provide all kind of task types for all notifications. Uh, previously we only supported about seven types of notifications. Now all kind of tasks can be used as notifications. And, and this means that uh, a task as a notification can now be used as a global object and reused in many jobs and tasks. Another great thing about this change is that we now, as develop developers, do not have to create separate code for notifications. And that was one of the reasons that we only had seven notifications because we have to uh, provide code for both notification and tasks. Right now when we make a change to a task or create a new task it will be instantly available as a notification. So this one code change offers a lot of features and, and uh, for example previously uh, I, we used the email notifications and they only support the normal uh, non-encrypted emails but but now when we can use test notifications we can uh, make use of the already existing features of the tasks for example uh, sending secure messages and signing messages that was not possible before and we also have received different kind of feedback from our customers and previously you could only set notifications to be executed uh, on three different events you had on, com on complete on error and on start and now with the introdu introduction of flow which I'm going to um, talk a little about here and more in another session you can control in more detail for example on start or on error if uh, a certain condition is um, matched. So these are the changes in notifications and I will show you how to uh, how it has been changed in jobs and tasks. So for example if I open a job here previously we had this notifications tab here. Now it has been replaced by the flow tab and flows are more a more advanced way of controlling what happens when a job or a task has failed. So you will see this flow tab both on job and on task level. So to to add a notifications or control the flow in any way, I click on the add button. And for example, I can see that uh, well, I want to send a notification when uh, the job has been completed. So I'm using now the default settings. I am now on complete. I can choose on start, on error, on success, or uh, or on complete. And I can say, say uh, I want to run this notification and select the notification here. So this is the way you uh, add uh, and send a new notification right now. And notifications are you can, uh, for example, you can also edit the open the notifications window from this button. And notifications is a part of something else as well because um, you can also tell it to to deactivate a job when, when it has completed and you can add more conditions for example if it has completed and let's say exit code is value uh, zero well that is success you, you can uh, run a notification based on these conditions. 
and of course you can all use the on success as well and you will not need the uh, exit code zero you can also create based on other values you can compare two variables in runtime and run the notification based on that so these are the changes uh, that we created in uh, notifications and flow and we hope that uh, you will make use of them thank you